imagine for a moment a copper wire. I'm going to do it in red because, like, copper. So here's our copper wire. In each one, we have a positively charged nucleus. And on each of these nuclei, we have an electron. So this is a perfectly happy copper wire in equilibrium. There's no current flowing. It's just got a bunch of nuclei. It's got a bunch of electrons. And it's happy. And everything's sitting still. Now let's imagine we pump an electron in on this end. So let's say we add an, an extra electron. And we're going to force that electron onto this nucleus. All right, so now this nucleus suddenly has two electrons, but it only has one proton, say. It's because these were all in equilibrium before, which means that this electron wants to find a new place to go. So this one is just going to jump to the next one. This one will jump to the next one, because now there's two electrons on this one. So this one has to leave. And then the same thing with this, whereas this electron has to leave. And now this electron gets flung into eternity, never to be seen again. No, I'm just kidding. This electron will usually um, say this was on a battery, would go to the negative end of the battery. Um, and deplete the battery life a little bit. So this is the flow of electrons that you're seeing here. As you can imagine, this is the negative end of the wire, because the electron came from this end, and it's attracted to positive. And this, this is the positive end of the wire over here. Um, and that's why this electron is attracted to positive, because remember, Neg uh, opposites attract. Same thing as dating, really. Opposites attract. So here's where it gets really confusing. This is the negative end, and this is the positive end. And you may have heard me say that current flows from positive to negative. So current is actually going this way. So this is your current, or I, as it's always denoted electrically. And it's flowing this way. I don't know how to make it more clear than this. So electricity started becoming really popular as a physical scientific concept in the 1700s, at least in the Western world. In the late 1700s, our pal Benjamin Franklin um, had to basically guess which direction current was going. The electron hadn't been discovered yet. The proton hadn't been discovered yet. Um, we just noticed that um, things like static electricity, and there are parts of charge that we see in our daily life. And so Franklin denoted current going from positive to negative, And then 100 years of scientific research was done on top of that before the discovery of the electron. And we realized that really the flow, the like physical flow, was going in the opposite direction. And by that point, it was far too late to go back and change all the journals. Um, and so current is always denoted going from positive to negative. Luckily, all of the math is the same. Um, so current is kind of like the the positive charge, whereas the electrons are the negative going in the opposite direction. At this point, I never think about the electrons flowing in the wrong direction. I just look at my circuit and read it as current rather than as electrons. And that is why we put this down as charge rather than electrons.